we decided to pitch our business in early 2012 um, because we recognised there was a need to have a new conversation with our customer base. We've been with our previous agency for, for many years and, and over that time the business had grown in terms of scale, um, was in many more new countries, was in many more new, new businesses. Um, but growth had slowed in terms of the core food business and our customer base had fallen a little out of love with uh, Tesco. So we knew we needed a new player on the pitch to help us re-engage at a far warmer and more emotional level. But also recognise that the business had got more complex and how within that, how do you simplify and rebuild the brand in a very clear and relevant and motivating way for customers? We chose Oyster Catchers to help us because the scale of the change was such we wouldn't have been able to do it on our own. Um, the business, as I said, was, was much bigger. Many more stakeholders within it, from the CEO of the bank to the CEO of mobile to the, you know, the CEO of the group. Um, and given our ambition and what we wanted to do with the brand, we knew we needed somebody to help us be on side uh, to make sure that we were finding the greatest talent in the industry, um, the best of the best, willing to do their best um, on, on the Tesco brand. I mean, first and foremost, uh, they kept us in line. Um, the business is a big business, full of some very big and colourful characters and some great stakeholders in this overall process. So we needed to be moderated and uh, Oyster Cashes did a supreme job there. But importantly, they really had to listen and understand the challenges that we faced as a business to help convey that through the, through the pitch process. Gave us great guidance, given the complexity of the brief, how we could really inspire um, the, uh, the pitching agencies uh, through the process, starting at the very top of our organisation with our group CEO, who actually led the inspirational pitch process on his own feet in one of our own shops. Uh, and showed his pet care and kind of like passion for the brand and, uh, and, and the retail industry. Um, and as we went through, as we actually went through the process, you know, keeping, keeping all of the agencies motivated, clear on where we were, where we were clear, on, clear on the feedback. So we know that when we got to the end of it, you know, we were on a level pitch in terms of judgment and, and understanding so we could make the right decision. Um, looking back on it, um, I think there are three things that Oyster Catchers really provided. Um, one, firstly, was the fact that they kept us all in line uh, as, as, a, as a client. So Tesco is full of some very larger-than-life characters, and, and most of those were stakeholders in the process. So keeping us at bay was, uh, was quite, quite important. But secondly, they really listened and understood the strategic issues we faced and why we wanted to change our agency partner on what we were trying to do with the brand and, and thirdly and most importantly gave us really great guidance on how to inspire the uh, pitching agencies through the briefing process. Most importantly in Tesco um, having strong uh, relationships with our uh, partners is absolutely critical and it's never more so than with the uh, advertising agency when you're thinking about the stewardship of the brand but you've got to like each other you've got to be able to get on um, you've got to have some shared values uh, as, a, as a collective and importantly some shared vision. You know, we have some really clear values about respect and trust and uh, collaboration and empathy and we have a you know, real clarity on the vision that we want to develop for the brand. You know, a brand that customers don't just buy from but buy into. A brand that is wanted and needed in the communities in which we operate. So I think when you bring it all together, for me they're three pretty important things in terms of a successful uh, client agency relationship. The greatest challenges you face as a marketeer in Tesco is given the enormity of the business, it's a true multi-channel, multi-format business, how do you knit all that together so when the customer experiences the brand it feels like all of those things are pointed to, 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 at them in one seamless experience that whenever they touch Tesco uh, it, it, it feels like the same Tesco each time, whether it's the bank, whether it's the mobile, whether it's a simple shopping trip to get, a, get, get some groceries. Um, so here we are with a new agency to help us very much with that challenge. How do we bring it all together, build one consistent, simple, honest, open, warm brand that customers really want to buy into and not just buy from?